In this video, we are going to look at finding the intersection of lines and planes. So this is related to the topic of vectors, and we're going to do an example question where we're going to find the vector equation of a line and see where it intersects with an equation of a plane. Now this is a key concept. Uh, this type of question does appear quite frequently in IB maths exams. Okay, so we're given two coordinates here, A and B, and we want to firstly uh, find the vector equation of the line that passes through A and B. And this would typically be prompted at the start uh, of your exam question. So the vector equation of a line, L, will be in the form of R equals A plus TB, where A is our uh, position vector and B is our direction vector. So we can use the position vector of A, that's 1, 4, 2, plus t, and our direction vector, let's see, put a t, our direction vector will be uh, the vector ab. Now, ab will just be 4 minus 1, uh, 6 minus 4, and 3 minus 2, so we 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we found our... Uh, our vector equation of the line passing through A and B, and we want to know when does this line intersect with our plane here, 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 34. Now, what we need to realize is that we have three equations here with our line, and these are our parametric equations. This is x, y, and z, because R stands for some position on our line, and that position will have an x, y, and z. Uh, value attached to it. So our uh, parametric equations are x, and x will equal 1 plus t times 3, so 1 plus 3t, uh, y will equal 4 plus 2t, 4 plus 2t, and z will equal 2 plus t, z will equal 2 plus t. Now what we can do is we can substitute this x, y, and z in terms of t into our plane equation. And I'll do that in a slightly different color. I'll do that in red. So what we're going to get is, actually I'll put it in blue and green. We'll have two, and instead of writing x, we can put our x equation in, which will be one plus three t. And then we're going to have plus three y, so plus three. And instead of having our y, we can substitute in 4 plus 2t, 4 plus 2t, and then we will subtract z. So we're going to subtract, and z was just 2 plus t, 2 plus t, and this will equal 34. Now, what we have now is an equation in terms of t, so we can solve for that value of t, and that will be the parameter uh, for when this intersection occurred. So let's expand this uh, whole equation here. We'll get 2 plus 6t plus 12 plus 6t, and then minus 2 minus t is equal to 34. If we collect our t's, we'll have 6t, 6t, and negative t, so 11t, and 2 plus 12 minus 2 is just 12. And therefore, 11t will be equal to 22, and t is equal to 2. Now, this is not our answer, but while we are one step away, we know that the intersection of a line and a plane will, will, uh, will happen at some point. Uh, some position, and we can find that if we just substitute in t equals 2 into our line equation, because we know we can then find that position. So if we go back to our x, y, and z, x, y, and z, which was which was uh, our, our equation, it will be 1, 4, 2, and then we had plus t, which was 2, and we'll have 3, 2, 1. And we actually could have just subbed it into here. It's the same thing. Uh, but what we'll end up getting is our x, y, z will be 1 plus 6, so 7, 4 plus 2 times 2, so it'll be 8, and 2 plus 2 times 1, so it'll be 4. So the this will be the position vector of where the intersection takes place, and the coordinate would just be 7, 8, 4. 
Okay, so hopefully uh, you now understand how this topic works. We, we are going to have lines and planes in our topic of vectors here, uh, but if we do need to find the intersection of the two, we can just get our parametric equations for x, y, and z and substitute them into our plane equation, and we'll solve for t, and then we once we know t, we can find any, and we can find that point on our line. Okay, good luck.